Welcome to the Day 1 Highlights World Cup Qualifier held at the Olympic Training Center in San Diego brought to you by USA Field Hockey. Day 1 schedule, all teams starting off on an even keel and uh, in the schedule for today the first game Belgium versus Canada closely followed by Korea ranked 11th in the world against France and the day concludes with the USA 10th in the world against the number 36 ranked Mexico side. Let's have a look at the highlights from day one, Chula Vista, California. So the first game of the day was uh, Belgium against Canada and a 0-0 score line at half time and Belgium it was that went ahead uh, early in the second half through Anique Rees with an opportunistic finish on the backhand and soon after, quality penalty corner conversion, some confusion in the Canadian defence, two defenders defending the same zone, and Canada it was uh, that went 2-0 behind. Azelia Liu in the Canadian goal having a good day out, but unfortunately not able to stop the two Belgian goals. And Canada were able to get into the game, mostly when the Belgians were down to 10 players, and twice during the game they had players sent off for stopping the ball over their shoulder. But it was too little too late for the Canadians. The only opportunity really of the game, the clear opportunity, was one late in the game that went off the post. But Belgium, reasonably comfortably, they made harder work of it than they perhaps would have wanted to, but were reasonably comfortable with a 2-0 win. In our second game of the day, the Koreans, ranked 11th in the world, played the French. And it was the French who were making all the highlight plays at the start of the game picking balls off the goal line uh, in the penalty corner game. But the Koreans, once they got moving, they were able to play in their explosive counter-attack game and uh, were able to go ahead after collecting the ball deep in their own zone, going the length of the field to go 1-0 up. Koreans also showed that they can play with power, hitting out of the backfield to presenting strikers and playing with a lot of pace and a lot of determination and were too much for the French early in the game and ended up going 2-0 up very early. The French saved a number of uh, penalty corners, the second one taken off the line here and the French goalkeeper making save after save and it was really a question of uh, how much they could take before the Koreans would uh, score more and more. On this occasion again going from the backfield all the way through to the front but the finish didn't quite match the distribution. Koreans became a little frustrated in their penalty corner game. A number of opportunities with near misses. The French holding on and defending resolutely. The Koreans winning corner after corner. But ultimately it was the Koreans who had most of the play and almost all of the scoring opportunities. The French holding on and holding on and holding on. Sometimes using the post as the last defender. But Sainachar it was who came up and slotted the third goal for the Koreans with a hard penalty corner push into the low left corner. And another opportunity well saved by the French goalkeeper. And even though the Koreans went down to 10 men temporarily towards the end of the game, they were too good for the French and ended up with a comfortable 4-0 victory. <coughs> Final game of the day, the home side, the USA, ranked number 10, playing the Mexican side, ranked number 36, close in proximity for nations, but not in the world rankings, and it was Kerry Lingo who put the USA on the scoreboard first with a goal in the third minute, a goal from coming from the midfield, and it was really all USA all day, Katie O'Donnell providing a lot of the spark in the front field. O'Donnell to Evans and Evans scoring the second goal for the US and it became a question of how many would the US score or how, how many would they be able to score and with play like that from the Mexican goalkeeper at one point you thought it was going to be double figures and indeed the uh, US players probably would have felt that they had enough opportunity to score but it was a uh, Spreading the scoring around the team, Jesse Guy here with an opportunity missing the right post and Kayla Bayshaw having a lot of time in the midfield to create the play led to opportunity after opportunity, Michelle Castle coming through into the front here but the US getting a little bit frustrated only going into the half time break with a 3-0 lead. Mexico had one or two opportunities only throughout the game, this one unfortunately kicked 
before the any danger of threatened Amy Tran in the USA goal. And O'Donnell showing some good trapping in the front again. But the story of the day for the US, missed opportunity in the penalty corner game and missed opportunity in the uh, field goal finishing. Rachel Dawson with a number of penalty corner opportunities. Claire, Ling, uh, Claire Lawback with a number of opportunities. And some sterling play from the Mexican goalkeeper. But persistence from the USA players paid off in the end. Peppering the Mexican goal, shot after shot, and Rachel Dawson getting the fourth goal on the board from a rebound on a corner. Some nice ball handling skill from Michelle Cassold, and unfortunately US not able to score at the far post. And Cassold it was again, creating, creating the opportunity Katie Reinprecht to fire it across to O'Donnell. Seven scorers on the day for the US. Seven different goal scorers for the seven goals. And showing some variation in the penalty corner game. With the Mexicans just besieged. Giving away penalty strokes. Caroline Nichols scoring comfortably from the penalty spot. And a job well done by the US today. But they will be looking to, uh, to sharpen up as they move through the tournament. Certainly in their conversions. They were only one for 14 in their penalty corner game. But a win nonetheless and enough to top the pool. And confidence building with the girls in blue as they look to shape up to play the French in tomorrow's contest here in San Diego. And so a recap of the day one results. Belgium overpowered Canada in the end in the second half, scoring two goals to win 2-0. Korea too good for France with a comfortable 4-0 victory. And USA who will top the pool after a convincing victory against Mexico 7-0. USA tops the pool with three points. Korea and Belgium also on three points. Um, and Canada, France and Mexico will be looking to get their first goals and get on the board in the games tomorrow. To look ahead, our matches tomorrow, Saturday, March the 27th, Canada versus Korea at 10.15, Mexico take on Belgium, and the final game of the day will be France against USA. And please remember that the USA games are available in live text commentary from usafieldhockey.com, and stay up to date with things that are happening at the Olympic Training Center here in San Diego, California, via Twitter and Facebook. We look forward to seeing you again in, uh, for tomorrow's highlight show. Bye for now.